So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. In this video, which is the number 8, we are continue with our main menu 3D. And the problem was with the camera, I missed something very simple. And it was, we go back to our outline and we select our in, uh, place camera in our scene. And we go to the details panel, we write auto like before. And there we have to choose, this one was disabled, we have just select player zero. And this player zero, what this is, is the character which is in this array. If you don't know what array means, it means just that here, are, uh, let's say, eight possibilities of players and it will select the first one and this one will be activated on the first place. This is a very bad explanation, but for our understanding at start that's enough and the rest and the and all the other things you read in the documentation what it real means and so on but when you play now start here is our cube now it works let's continue the next thing is what we have to do is uh, what i'm going to do is first of all let's kick this cube and uh, right here this is our window our place actors if you don't have that and here I write now plane. I want to replace it with a plane. You could make the with a cube a plane as well, actually. And then I position this here around. And if I start this one, yes, this looks okay. And let's scale this here. On top are the scalings and the shortcuts are uh, written in the tooltip if you don't know them. And now I scale this a little bit. I go for R and scale it so and scale it on the x-axis as well so here is a problem sometimes if you if you move here around in the screen and you want to focus on your object you press the shortcut on your uh, the key on your keyboard f and it focus on the selected object this is very handy and sometimes the camera is very fast right i can uh, fly here in a record speed Instead of that, you can go here on top of the camera and slow it down if you like. And it's more easy to focus, especially when you go very close, then you have go even slower that you can focus and see what's happening. So let's continue. Let's scale here a little bit. I press play and you see I have here a map. Let's move it. A w uh, for moving. And yes, here is... Um, Plane where I want to uh, uh, place my character and how we get the character now. That's the other thing. Here we go in details. Let's delete our search. And what we do is search our character. The problem is we have to find the character here. The easiest way is probably go to the filters and go to blueprint classes. And here it jumps in. But here's one another problem where the hell is now this blueprint class here a easy way is you just right click as you select this one then you right click on it and then here are some options you can read them through and what we need is just show not in show in folder view not in explorer show in folder view and then it jumps there it is and i told you at start a very important um very important um Things we move to our own folder right now it's ex anywhere there this comes with the third person template and i want this in my um, folder that's why i created there a character actually it was also a character folder like you can see this one and i just moved this character here in my folder i drag and drop this down and then i click move here and the same thing we are going to do now with our blueprint and i drop this blueprint folder to my character and i write here move here so and here is something strange right when i go now to my folder and go to character this is okay i moved all in my folder this is just a little bit folder moving around and the first strange thing is here i moved them there but they are still here because moving means oh 
it's not here that's good what you have to do when you do an action like this is you go on top to content i make this only so all are selected i think and then right click and go to this option which says fix up redirection uh, redirectories in folders and if you click this one all the three directories are now cleaned which means you can delete this save and after deleting we have to do this one more time and delete this one let's see the character folder is still here should be not here because because i moved them up uh, i'm not sure but let's delete them oh uh, yeah i moved them up that's why the, the delete was good so the, i moved this character folder here it's all in our folder that's set but how i get now the character here or uh, here on my plane very easy you open up your blueprint folder you drag and drop the character just here and now let's see here is our camera so i want our character facing uh other way around so i make a rotation here the rotation is the e key and then we rotate 180 degrees that's perfect and let's place it here like oh why can't f to focus but still not good uh, i clicked the wrong thing and here is one more interesting key so if you want place anything on another object and it should snap automatically on the uh, surface you just drag it a little bit high and then i press all time the end key on your keyboard and you see it snaps on the surface and if i play now start we have our character here this one looks a little bit too far away what we can do is just there are different ways you can change the uh, the camera settings too but we are not doing this uh, for example here is the setting in details field of view or something like that you can change this too but don't make this just keep the defaults what we are do we make the simple version we just go a little bit closer and here's a preview and now i go here a little bit here here is my name i press play yes looks better but still not lightning is not perfect i would say let's uh, where's my camera let's move it a little bit more right uh, left mm, and the, we have to do a little bit lightning right okay the lightning is not cool i go a little bit even closer perhaps yeah something like that and a little bit more left and then lightning all right okay i want my not make here a super beauty thing but it look it should look okay yeah, that's okay now and let's um, tweak our lightning so let's move this a little bit up you can see here the lightning ah this one we don't need so we click this away this one we don't need to let's click this away so we can move a little bit more uh, a little bit better <laughs> and see what we do so this one is the character which we right have i think this one is not good placed or this one could be also because the resolution is a little bit changed let's see this one again yeah i think it should be go just a little bit there okay i think now i keep this so with that said we have set up a 3d space now you can see of course you can build here uh, much more things you can download assets and place them behind for the main menu and you can go crazy at the star you know at their free assets just download place them and amazing stuff but as a main menu i make something very simple because you just want here and the greeting screen like this one and then start of course later you can go here to more professionals setting ups go wild like you like it i think i stop it with this one in this video and next video what we are going to do i mentioned this as well we have of course here one problem i press start and nothing happens so we want when uh, uh, the next thing is when i press start i want that this one opens a level in our case 
normally I want it open. Let me open this one. Oops, not this one. Let me show you this one again. Normally I want it open. The third person map. Let's go into levels fast. This one. But perhaps we should make a new map. I'm not sure. Save selected, of course. And we can open this one. Or we can create a new, and I think I'm not going open this one because we are going to create a whole new map and style the whole map. And then I show you some style uh, tools and so on in Unreal Engine 5. Only the quick way because I'm not an artist and designer, but I learn a little bit of styling too. So see you in the next with that and bye.